comes a time when a man builds his last campfire. Did you know that right here in Douglas County, Colorado, Kit Carson built his last campfire? Kit Carson? Who's Kit Carson? You mean you don't know who Kit Carson is? Well, I reckon we ought to tell you. Let me tell you all a tale about a man hardy and hale. Kit, Kit Carson. It was on this very site where he made his last firelight. The last campfire of Kit Carson. Kit Carson, Kit Carson. Well, this campfire might be the location of Kit's final days, but maybe I should tell you some of the Kit's beginnings as a youngster growing up in Boone's Lake, Missouri. In those days, the Show Me State was right on the borderline where civilization came to an end and the frontier began. When I was just a boy, I was smaller than the rest. Got real good at hunting and I moved out west. A saddler's apprentice, I just couldn't be contained. So I ran off toward the sunset on the open range. He ran off toward the sunset on the open range. After I had fled my employer all alone, placed a one cent reward to bring me home. He took the Santa Fe train to New Mexico. And there I lived till Fremont made me go. And there he lived till Fremont made him go. Fremont? Who's Fremont? Hmm. I don't really know much about Fremont, but I know a place where we can find out. Yep, you guessed it, the public library. I'm Kit. He's Kit. I'm Kit. He's Kit. Legend of the open range. I'm Kit. He's Kit. I'm Kit. He's Kit. Spirit of the West can be tamed. He's a Western pioneer, mountain bag strodin' there. Kit. Kit Carson. Blazing trail both near and far. Fought the Mexican War. Man of the West, Kit Carson. Kit Carson. Kit Carson. You know, these days some folks will tell you that Kit Carson was an Indian killer. And could be he was. Especially if you were a hostile Indian on the warpath. But Kid understood and respected the Native American. In 
In fact, he married an Arapaho squaw and had close relations with many of the peaceful nations. So he was appointed as an Indian agent of the U.S. government for northern New Mexico. Kit was getting a little long in the tooth, if you know what I mean. After getting married a second time to a Mexican senorita and serving again with the U.S. Army in the Civil War, his health began to fail him. He was making his way through this area with the help of a local man by the name of D.C. Oaks. Coming back from Wyoming, had enough of my roaming. Kit, Kit Carson, Feeling sickly and a lagging, so I stepped out in the wagon. I was sick. He, he was, was sick. sick. Kit Carson. Kit Carson. Kit Carson. <laughs> so they came upon the vista of Wildcat Point, which today is on Daniels Park Road, and decided to stop for a noon meal. Oaks handled the wagon and horses while Kit made the fire. He must have sensed that the end was near because he said, this will be the last one. Thus, history was made. Over the years, this spot and its importance was remembered by word of mouth and marked by a pile of stones. Eventually, the stones were replaced by a piece of government granite so it might stand the test of time and be remembered here, today, and always. Get the tinder. Strike a match. Flames are licking. It's Kit's last. Get the tinder. Strike a match. Flames are licking. It's Kit's last. Get the tinder. I'll light the fire, Strike Oaks. You turn out the team. Flames are Potter and fire. It's Kit's last. Live the American dream. Get the tinder. I'll light the fire, Strike Oaks. You turn out the team. Flames are Potter and fire. It's Kit's last. Live the American dream. I'm Kit. I'll light the fire. I'm Kit! I'm Kit! Spirit of the West, Kit's Kit's name. Spirit of the West, Kit's name. So as we stand here with uncovered heads, let us not forget that someday, like Kit Carson, each of us will build his last fire. May it burn as clean and bright as his. Mm -hmm. 